So today we will know about simple present tense or present indefinite tense. So the present indefinite tense is used to describe an action that occurs on a regular basis and to state universal truths. Let us see its uses. It is used to describe facts like the president lives in the Rashtrapati Bhavan, a spider has eight legs. It is also used for habits like Martha brushes her teeth three times a day. I get up at 8 a.m. on Sunday. So these are the habits of a person. Then it is also used for things that are generally true. For example, the sun rises in the east. Trees shed their leaves in winter. It is used for repeated or regular actions also. I go to school by bus. The train leaves by 10 a.m. So these all are the regular action or repeated which are done repeatedly. Now let us see the structure. So first we will learn about the structure of affirmative sentences, positive sentences. So here we use the base form of verb or first form of verb. First we use subject, then the base form of verb, then rest of the sentence. Let's take example. I like to play chess. A mother loves her children. He plays football. So what did you see in these examples? We used base form with the first person, second person or plural nouns. And we use or we add S or ES to the verbs when we use the plural nouns or we can say which is plural third person. Now see the negative sentences. Now here we use subject first and then we use the auxiliary verb do or does and then not and base form of verb. For example, penguins do not fly. I do not like to play football. He does not play football. Now here also you note that penguins which is a plural we used do with first person also second person and plural nouns we use do and with the third person which is singular we use does. Now we see the structure of interrogative sentences. Now here also interrogative or questions they begin with auxiliary verb that is do or does then subject and then base form of verb do you speak french does he play football do you need any help so here we started with do with the second person or we can say first and second and uh, plural nouns we use do and with singular nouns we use does so now let's see present continuous tense. Now present continuous tense tells us about an action that is taking place at the time of speaking. It is used to describe an action in progress and the continuity of the action. For example, she is playing tennis. They are watering the plants. So here the action is in progress it is continued now second use is it is used to describe an action that is not happening at the time of speaking but is in progress for example he is working in an MNC they are studying in DN college so this work is in progress this action is in progress now it is also used to describe future plans. For example, they are leaving 
for Jaipur tomorrow. My sister is arriving by seven o'clock train tonight. I am going to attend the class tomorrow. So these are the future plans. Like they are leaving for Jaipur tomorrow. So it is a plan which will be done tomorrow. Now let's see the structure. So first we will see the structure of affirmative sentences in present continuous tense. So here first we use subject then is M R auxiliary verb then verb plus ing which is also called as present participle and then rest of the sentence. For example, I am playing football. They are singing loudly. We are going to Shimla. Now here with singular subjects we use is and with plural are. Now let's see the structure of negative sentences. Here subject is used then again is M R then not and then verb plus ing or present participle. For example, I am not watching television. We are not making any noise. She is not staying in Scotland. So these were the negative sentences. Now interrogative. These questions. So here are two types of questions. For first type where it begins with auxiliary verb that is is m r then we use subject then present participle and then object now for the second type of question which begins with question word we use the question word first then is m r then subject and then present participle now is he waiting for rahul are you not writing a letter what is Ravina doing here? Which newspaper are you buying? Now present perfect tense describes an action that started in the past but has just been completed. The term present perfect suggests that the action has been completed recently. Now let's see the uses where it is used. So it is used to express an action that has recently been completed and we use just already recently or yet in these sentences. For example, she has just taken tea. I have already purchased this book. So the action has recently been completed here. Now. It is also used to describe past events whose effect still exists. For example, I have finished my work. It is also used to describe an action whose time is not given. Like, have you read Shakespeare? So here, the action is done but we don't know the time when this action has been done but here also we will use present perfect tense that is past participle form of verb have now see the structure of first we will see affirmative sentences so we use subject has or have and past participle. Past participle, the third form of verb. He has closed the door. They have gone home. She has been to Sri Lanka. So now here with third person or singular subjects we use has and for other Plural nouns we use have. Like he is singular here. So we used has. They is plural. So we used have. Now we see the structure of negative sentences. Here first we use subject. 
then has or have, then not, and then past participle. Again, see the example. I have not met Shreya today. The man has not written any novels. She has not broken her arm. So here we used not with the auxiliary verb has or have. Now interrogative sentence. Again we will see both the kind of interrogative sentences. First which begins with auxiliary verb. So has or have will be used here. Then subject and then past participle. And with the question word we use first question word then has or have then subject and then past participle see the examples have you finished this work has she missed the work what have they eaten today why has Rashi not come yet now let's see present perfect continuous tense we use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about the action that began in the past but is still continuing in the present. Like I have been living in this house since my childhood. It has been raining since last night. Means the action is not stopped, it's still going on. It has been raining since last night. Means since last night it has been raining. Now it is also used to describe an action that has recently stopped and yet has some effect on, on the present. Now for example, I have been studying really hard. So the effect is my grades have improved. So the effect was still there. I have been running around for the job all day. Now let's see the structure. For affirmative sentences we use first subject. Then has or have. Then been and present participle. That is verb plus ing. For example Arpit has been sleeping since 6 o'clock. They have been running for three hours so here with singular subjects we use has and with plurals we use have now for negative sentences we use subject plus has or have not been and present participle for example you have not been suffering from fever for one week Rina has not been going to music class for two months. Now see the structure of interrogative sentences. So for yes no questions we use has or have first then subject then been and then present participle. Now for question word question like which which begins with question words we use the question word has or have subject then been and then present participle for example have you been sleeping since 8 o'clock has he not been living in this house for a long time why have they been playing football since morning <laughs> 